Very pleased to be joined now by number three ranked featherweight kickboxer and former three-time Glory kickboxing world champion, Marat Gregorian. Marat, you got yourself the second round TKO against a legend of the sport, Andy Sauer. And what a night it was for kickboxing. What's your reaction in putting away a legend like Andy Sauer? What was it like to fight him? Uh, it was a great fight. It was an honor to fight against Andy Sauer. But sad that they're going to end his career like this. But uh, what can I do in sport? This is the part of the sport. He's a great fighter, a great warrior. He showed a lot of good fights. But uh, I must think about myself and about my record. In the first round, you looked dominant. You looked to have more power. In the second round, he looked like he was coming back a little bit better. Were you respecting his ability? What did you think of his uh, response to your power? Uh, he, he cannot stand uh, against my power because I feel it from the first second. Uh, I don't know, it, it was something, uh, uh, I, it was a little bit of respect against him, that's it. Was it a bit emotional when you heard his post-fight speech, how much he's given to the sport? Yes, yes, of course. It's sad to be to hear that, but uh, when you are getting old, uh, it's very difficult to fight on this level because there are younger fighters hungry fighters, stronger, uh, stronger fighters, and it's difficult to stay on this level. What was your reaction when he got up from the first knockdown? Uh, I think he was already in shock of my power. And uh, after that, I was just doing my thing, just slowly. Given how well you started the fight, were you disappointed with the way the fight ended with him getting injured? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think... His injury becomes off my low kick. I think it's, it starts from that because uh, when I kick, the, kick his low kick, his leg, I feel it already. He had really pain on his, on his leg. So after two or, two or three times, when I kick, kick the kick, I saw on, on his face that he had uh, really pain on that leg. So What did he say to you after the fight? Uh, congrats to you and uh, do your best to win this tournament. He complimented your unorthodox style of jabbing. What makes your style so effective? He was thinking um, I was very slowly. He, he underestimated me, I think, but it's nothing. It looks so easy when you are in front of me. It's different, really, believe me. We talk a lot about Andy Sau being such a legend from the K1 days and giving so much for this sport. But he basically said that the sport is in good hands with people like you going through to the semi-final. Do you feel like you're here to represent for the here and now of kickboxing? Yes, of course. I'm here for the new area, for the new kickboxing, for a high level. And I think we showed already today what a kickboxing of high level is. You had a, uh, an intense stare down with your opponent for the semi-final, Chingiz Alizov. You faced him twice before. You got the win against him in 2013. Yeah. Does that make it easier for you, knowing that you know how to beat him? Uh, no, he's still a dangerous fighter. He's a, he's a good fighter, but uh, yeah, I'm coming for for a war for the win, of course. He got a pretty epic finish against Sami Sana. Sami Sana was a finalist in 2019. Were you surprised to see how dominant he looked against Sami Sana? No, I, I, I say it already. Ching is going to win that fight. And how do you see the fight between you and him going? Do you think it's going to be different from the past? Do you think he's improved? Uh, it's going to be more fireworks again. I think three rounds of full action. And it's going to, going to start immediately. Did you pick up anything from the stare down between you guys? What was the vibe like from him? Did he did you pick anything up? I, I was just uh, thinking about my victory. And now I'm going to enjoy my moment now. And after tomorrow, I'm going to think about my next fight. This was a night full of crazy finishes and the night finished with a pretty historic KO by Superbon against Giorgio Petrosian. Did you have a chance to see it? No, I don't see it. I, I want to see it after. Given what happened at the end, even though you haven't seen it yet, do you think this goes down as one of the best nights in the history of the sport? Yes, of course. Of course. Because all the top guys that are fighting today on the highest level of kickboxing, so all the world is watching. So 
there is nothing to say. If you are talking about kickboxing, then you know the these names are the best ones. This is the first time that one championship, a major global promotion, has done an all kickboxing card. How important is this for the momentum and the future of the sport? It's very important. I'm very happy to be part of one championship. We'll make this everything possible, really. It's giving me more motivation, and I'm glad to push myself for more limits and to prove more things. How do you feel about that other semi-final between your, your old rival, Sidichai, and David Kyria? Uh, uh, David Kyria did a good job. I was, uh, I don't, ex ex uh, I was not thinking that he's going to win like that because Enrico Kell was in good shape. His last fight, I saw, I saw his fighting. He was really in good shape. But today, uh, after an easy jab, he was already, uh, he, his legs were wibbling. It, it was, it's, it, it's a good thing for uh, David Kenya and about City Chai. Uh, yeah, he did. Good for to win, nothing special. He, I'm not impressed about him. Would it frustrate you to have to fight Sidichai again in the final, or do you think the world works in funny ways? You guys are destined to do it for a sixth time in the final. Six times, seven times, I don't care, man. Uh, if if it's must, must, then you, we have no choice. It's very, it's really difficult. Mentality, mentality, it's very difficult. But uh, the mental is very difficult to fight against the same guy always, but uh, you must be very strong in your head. And most of people, they don't understand that. And uh, it's also sometimes boring again to fight against the same guy. But uh, if that happens, then it happens. It's, uh, it's, you must to fight, that's it. You got the best of him four times in a row than the last time you met in 2019, he won. Does that bother you at all? Does that part of it make you want to get that one back and, and prove that you're the better fighter? Yes, of course. I'm, I want to improve myself always that, that I'm the best, best fighter. I know you have an awful lot of respect for the doctor, Giorgio Petrosian, but do you think him losing tonight means that it's your time to prove yourself as the greatest kickboxer on the planet? I'm a little bit in shock uh, because of Giorgio. I don't see that fight, how, it's, how is that happening? But I am supporting of my uh, Armenian brother because he's also Armenian, and uh, I really wanted that he's gonna win this uh, this belt. But uh, it's happened. It's a sport. It's a fight. Everything can happen. Congress to Super Bowl. Uh, what can I say? Uh, I'm coming for that belt. That's it. Knowing that you beat Super Bowl already in Kunlun, does that give you even more confidence that you know? That that belt is going to be yours sooner or later. It's 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 it it uh, it will be a good fight, I think. I'm I'm still coming for uh, fireworks always. If I if I come to fight, there is always blood on the floor. So uh, there's nothing to say. Do you think Superbon proved something tonight? I know you didn't see the finish yet, but it was it see. was pretty historic. Do you think he uh, maybe? Silence some doubters tonight by beating Petrosian in that way. Uh, I'm very shocked. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't. I was not thinking like that way. What are you most pleased with with your performance? Your your defense looked so sharp, and, and of course we mentioned your power. Just all round, you looked so fluid in your movement. What are you happiest with? Sorry, I don't understand. But... What about your performance? Are you happiest with? What are you pleased with from your performance tonight? Everything. Uh... I was playing safe. I do my thing. I do. I did my job without injuries. I'm feeling me great. I can uh, fight again, another fight now, if it, if it must. So I have the victory. I think all fans of one championship and martial arts fans around the world know that a Marek Gregorian fight is not to be missed. They'll be tuning in for your semi-final. Do you have a final message for Alazov and the fans watching around the world? Don't forget to watch it because when I'm fighting, it's a war. So don't blink because it can happen every second. Marek Gregorian, one of the most exciting combat sports athletes on the planet. Great to speak to you, sir. And big congratulations on your victory.